Back in 1937, a gentleman by the name of Hans Schroll had a dream. He envisioned an alpine village very similar to his hometown in Austria that would offer some of the best skiing in the world. Hans' vision became reality at a place called Sugar Bowl. When some people see a mountain, they want to climb it. Whenever Hans saw a mountain, he wanted to ski it. Bursting onto the American scene in the early 1930s, Hans became well known throughout the industry and eventually accepted an invitation to head up the ski school at Yosemite. While in Yosemite, among those he met were Hollywood notables like Walt Disney and Charlie Chaplin, whom Schroll formed a lasting relationship. During a trip to Donner Summit, Hans came across the area he knew would be the perfect spot to establish his European-style resort. He said later, when I saw the bowl at the foot of Mount Lincoln, I decided this was the place, Sugar Bowl. Teaming up with a close group of visionaries, along with his Hollywood friends, Hans purchased the property for a mere $6,700, and construction began in the summer of 1939. The first chairlift spanned 3,200 feet and had a thousand foot vertical lift. Moore Dry Dock Company of Oakland was hired to erect the 13 steel towers along with the terminals. Everything was done standard pick and shovel with several of the footings having to be set in the lava foundation. Definitely no easy task. Miners were brought in from Nevada City to help with the drilling, which was also all done by hand. Donkeys would be used to pull the huge cable through each tower, which would bring skiers to the top of the peak, creating California's very first chairlift. For 25 cents, you could ride up and down Mount Disney, or if you were skiing, it was $2. Sugar Bowl hired architect William Wilson Worcester to design a Bavarian-style lodge. The roof was designed so the snow went off the back, and everyone could see the ski area from the porch. Considering the tools and equipment of the day, the construction of Sugar Bowl was an amazing feat. To get to the lodge itself, visitors would load onto a sled. That is, until 1953, when the magic carpet was put in. The magic carpet was a wonderful gondola that would take you right into the lodge. Not only did it make things easy, it would also preserve Sugar Bowl's old world charm, far from roads and traffic. Today, Sugar Bowl has managed to keep that charm, and it's one of the finest resorts around. Inside, we met the director of sales and marketing, John Munson. And you know, the word authentic certainly comes to mind. A lot of ski resorts throw authentic around, but when you've been around for 70 years providing skiing and snowboarding to uh, Tahoe vacationers, it, authentic really smacks true. So, skiers and riders just love it here. We enjoy 500 annual inches of snowfall. So, comparably speaking, that's quite a bit of snow. You know, Donner Summit is known historically for getting some record snowfalls, and we embrace that here, being a ski resort, obviously. And then this lodge that we're in here right now is the Lodge at Sugar Bowl, and it's Tahoe's only snowbound village, meaning you can't drive up to it. You have to take either Snowcat or a gondola across, and uh, it really adds to the quaintness of slopeside lodging, where you can't just drive up and pull up. Uh, you know, it takes a little bit to get here, but once you get here, it's a very unique and special feeling and vibe overall because you are snowbound and uh, not only that but it's slope side so you walk right out the door of the lodge and you're on the lifts and you're on your way. So in the Lodge of Sugar Bowl 27 rooms all different all unique um, some mountain view some village view uh, very very quaint old place it was built in 1940 so it's got some eccentric uh, attributes to it but uh, very wonderful lodge. We have the Four Peaks restaurant here uh, serving French inspired California cuisine with Chef Alan Davis, very well received. In fact, well received enough that we uh, kept it open for the summer, last summer for the first time, uh, due to popular demand. People just wanted to have more of it up here. So uh, we have the Belt Room Bar, which is a historic place to go grab a cold beer after a day of skiing or hiking in the summer. Um, and then just all your village amenity services, such as you know village ticketing. Uh, we have rentals on site. So it's very uh, all-encompassing, 
Um, all this stuff you need to get out there and enjoy a day on the hills right here in the lodge. John wasn't kidding, this place is unreal. They made everything so easy for us, from getting our equipment to getting on the slopes. It was awesome. I read that Ski Magazine once called Sugar Bowl the Rolls Royce of California skiing, being the first resort to offer slopeside accommodations in a style that is as true now as it was 60 years ago. Well, I totally agree. In the beginning, Sugar Bowl was built by dreamers that shared a love for the sport. Hans Schroll and so many others created a unique ski resort atop the Sierra Nevada that today rivals all the others. With third and fourth generation skiers now calling Sugar Bowl their winter home, the resort has weathered the test of time. This place isn't 60 years old, it's 60 years young, and entering the 21st century with an attitude that mirrors what the founders called the Sugar Bowl style. If you've never been here, you've got to check it out.